Well, you find them in pie, shortcakes, and parfaits, but did you know strawberries get their very own festival? It's true. We've got Brett and Miss Strawberry, Candace Robinette, filling us in on the fruity fun going on this weekend in Vista. I'll let you guess which one is which. Thanks, guys, for coming <laughs> on today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. This, you were just crowned Miss Strawberry. We're going to talk all about what led up to this amazing title, but Brett, this is going to be so much fun this weekend. You guys are just opening downtown Vista and say, Let's party strawberry style. We have so many strawberry activities. It's going to be a blast. I mean, we start off the day with a 5K run, kids run, a bike ride, a bike tour, and then it's just strawberry after strawberry after strawberry. Have you been prepping on your strawberry jokes? Do you have any? Strawberry jokes? No. I, I've been out soliciting um, bizarre strawberries, as we've chatted about, and um, <laughs> huge strawberries for some of our contests, but no, I don't have a lot of strawberry jokes yet. Okay. No. Well, you can work on your material. Here on our table, we have had some strange strawberries in the past, and we're looking at a couple. Can you talk us through sure. what you see? Sure. We're over here on, on my left. Mm -hmm. We have some very large strawberries, and that's one of the contests we're going to have is uh, biggest strawberry contest. But then we're going to have a bizarrest strawberry contest, and you see some bizarre strawberries here, like we have the uh, kind of the camel hump uh, strawberry there. And then next to it, you got this strawberry that's that's growing its own appendage right there. Um, I think he, he I think he was aspiring to be a camel strawberry, but he never quite made it. And then on top there, you have a strawberry that, if you look really close, I'm I'm quite certain is it's a replication of Mount Rushmore. Oh my! There. I yeah. it's a it's a dead ringer. Absolutely, it is right yeah. on. So, wow! Wow! And, and the you know they don't have to be strawberries that somebody grew at their own home. Um, I got these at Fraser Farm in Vista. I mean, you can bring something in that you found and submit it for our contest. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, fun pictures from years in the past at the Strawberry Festival. There we go. Here, okay. So here, here's one uh, from the past. I think that this is one that Brett drew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. From the bizarre contest the year before, <laughs> I, I came up with that myself. Absolutely. <laughs> Pictures of the festival in years past. And Candace, this is exciting. You were just crowned a couple of weeks ago. Yes. What do you think was the defining moment where the judges were like, "She is the strawberry queen shoe in"? Um, I think when I told them in my interview that I absolutely love strawberries. <laughs> I think that was the winner for me. So um, I love strawberries, and I think my energy, they really like that, and they wanted something like that for the festival. So, How many strawberries can, can you eat at one time? Like, can you, do, can you do a whole basket? Can you do a whole flat? I can eat a lot of strawberries. Wow. So. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll be eating a lot on Sunday. So. And, and so Miss Strawberry Queen is a huge honor, and Miss Strawberry Shortcake, that is going to be a big, big deal this weekend. Yes, we have girls from five to seven years old who can compete for the Miss Strawberry Shortcake title. And um, me and my court will be judging that. So we're going to look for some great little girls who love strawberries and are really passionate about serving Vista for this festival. That is adorable. All right, now we have our very own Miss Strawberry here at uh, San Diego Living. And, you know, I know that that can't really get into the contest this, <laughs> this weekend, but uh, yes, our own beautiful Miss Strawberry. There oh, is. There, <laughs> there she is. is. Can now, do, do you think that our own Miss Strawberry, can, can she compete this weekend? Oh, you know, I, I think he should definitely come up there and participate, yeah, because okay. there's nothing like that strawberry right there. Yeah, beautiful Miss Strawberry. It's our own Celestino. <laughs> yes. Looking good, looking good. All right, Brett, your favorite part of, of the festival, do you like the run? Do you like trying all the foods? What do you like the best? You know, one of my favorite parts is the pie eating contest, strawberry pie eating contest, and we have it. Um, striated, so there's age divisions. You have like the under five year olds and then the six to eight year olds, all the way up to adults. And, and it's not a, a pie eating contest where, where you judged on volume you eat, but it's speed. How oh. fast can you eat your piece of pie without using your hands? And so it's a lot of fun watching people smash their faces into the pie and, and just consume. And, and so that, that's a great part. And you're there with your camera. Uh, oh, absolutely. And, and, and the run is a great thing, too. My whole family participated in the run last year. We're looking forward to it. And every runner comes through, gets a basket of strawberries at the finish line. And so 
there's just lots of great stuff. All right. Thank you so much from the Chamber of Commerce. We've got uh, Brett here. And Candace, congratulations on Thank Strawberry you. Queen. And I know the Miss Strawberry Shortcake title is going to be a good, good one. Lots yes, of cute little will. girls up for that. Hey, and coming up, we're going to be cooking uh, in the kitchen with Jill. She's going to make us a whole strawberry meal extravaganza. More information, please go to SanDiego6.com and click on San Diego Living. And we're back in the kitchen. We've got some strawberry rhubarb and some strawberry treats right after this.